What's going on, everybody? We just got through watching the latest episode of Agatha all along. If I'm not mistaken, it's episode five. Let's find out what everybody thinks after that. Episode six. <laughs> Six might have miscounted, but it's the latest episode like of Agatha all along. Uh, let's go through like we always do. Let's do, uh, you know, the general. Yeah, well, we, we'll start with Greg, the no road, because uh, technically there wasn't. Well, I guess the road did show up at the very end, but uh, Greg, man, uh, initial thoughts of the episode. So, after the explosive reveal of who uh, Mr. Homie Sigil was. At last episode, we got the whole full backstory on his uh, whole his whole backstory. So I call it backstory, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so we explored all that the little tension away from the road and what's going on, and then the climax at the end, back on the road, and then. So I enjoyed it. It was it was, it was a a good uh, intermission to the overall mission. So I'm excited to see where it goes. Chris, initial thoughts on the episode we just watched, man. Uh, it was nice. It was nice to kind of fill in this gap here. Uh, I was wondering why they revealed him so early. So now we get more chance to see that dynamic between Agatha and him to where a- Agatha, we know, is not a fan of the Maximoff line. She's not a fan of Wanda, and now she's not a fan of him. So what will she go through now that they need each other? Good guy versus bad guy. Which one's the good guy? Which one's the bad guy? I don't care. I want more smarmy Agatha. Let's go. Brandy. I very much like this episode better than last week's episode. It was longer. We got the backstory of Billy a little bit. Um, William Kaplan. Then he turned into Billy. And how... So we saw back to when he was 13, he had a bomb mitzvah, got into the accident, turned into who we know him today. Then we got the beginning of Agatha, what we saw in the beginning and from his point of view. And I liked it. And now we got them back. You see Wanda, crawl, um, Wanda, ooh, Agatha crawling out of the mm-hmm. mud. So she made it, which we knew that was going to happen because... She's part of this. <laughs> She's part of this. She's tough. I think the other people. I think the other ones are around the corner somewhere. They have to have made it. They no way we lost them already. It's just going to be them two on the road. But what happened to um, uh, the other one? Aubrey Plaza's character. She never yeah, came out of. Oh, she yeah. never. She never came out. When when um. Billy used his powers at the end of the other episode. She wasn't out there. So where is she? Mm-hmm. So we see them back on the road and they're starting to go, but let's see what happens. At the end of this road. Yeah, this will be uh, probably my favorite episode of the season so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are <laughs> issues with it for me. Uh, a couple of issues there, but still it would be my favorite episode of the thing so far. Just like I think it has a little bit of an issue, sort of like I would say the Acolyte had with uh, there's obvious things that are going to happen. So, Mm -hmm. like, they're not as big as what they could be, right? So, like, me, the whole, like, Billy reveal technically happened at the very end of last episode, which I think last episode and this episode probably should have just been together. Yeah. Because the last episode, that's what made it so weak. For one, it was super short. Two, there really didn't, not a lot happened except for, you know, that reveal at the end of that episode. Uh, I think if they would have done that, revealed him like with the crown and then it went straight to the thing, I think that would have worked better. So those two episodes being put together would have been better, I think, overall. But yeah, it's like the the things they reveal, even though like say if you're a big fan or something and you like seeing it, you knew it was coming. So that mm-hmm. whole like, oh, crap moment, you know, was like not there. It was kind of like missing because it was already like, like I said, even with last week's episode, it was you already knew like what was going to happen uh, with that. So I think they need to work on that kind of thing. And some of the things that like happened in this episode, like, so this was a more serious episode uh, from the outset. I literally mm-hmm. was like taking a couple of notes and like one of them I started off with this episode starting strong. Mm-hmm. It's serious. You got the car wreck happening and everything else. And as we go along to, through the episode, 
more and more like as soon as Agatha gets put back into the fold, it became some of that silly stuff again. And I just feel like it doesn't fit. Like, I just don't know if they uh, really uh, got the formula together of like what we're going to do and like uh, keep it kind of coherent. Um, I get that they're trying to do the goofiness, but if you're going to do that, you kind of need to be the goofiness throughout. Like, so when they met the guy in the uh, parking garage and stuff, like I thought it was Oh, yeah, oh, oh, nine, right? So, like, like, see, that part of it was like his name because of the online thing was kind of fine being in there. Some a couple, one or two little things he did was kind of silly, but like, <laughs> like, so, like I said, it was like real serious to a certain point. Like, he almost died. He's, you know, he's trying to figure out who he is and stuff. And then he's being thrown into the closet and he's like, I don't want to be put back in the closet again. And it's like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> dude, yeah. yeah have to be like i mean i like i said i just it, it's I just like weird I, I can't put my finger on it but it's like i guess i would probably want this to be a slapstick kind of comedy it still has a lot of the elements that's going on here but it's got the goofiness all the way through it or be serious and i think if they would have chose one or the other i would have liked it better as an overall show but it's like I'm getting part of this goofiness out of nowhere after we had just been serious for like the first 15, 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden, like uh, this goofiness comes out of nowhere. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. And he's like falling off the house. But let, we'll start talking about some of the other stuff that happened in the episode. But this is my favorite. I know I said some, you know, critical things there, but this is my favorite episode so far of the series. Uh, I'm not as high on the series as say like uh, Brandy and uh I think it sounds like even maybe Chris or like Adelia, uh, and maybe even like uh, Greg to a certain point. It's just I, I understand that this is just my not my kind of story, but I don't hate it. Um, uh, for an example, uh, me and Brandy did uh, our next couple therapy, which will be out on the channel not far from now. It's Rocky Art Picture Show. That's like funny. that's one of my so like that's one of my favorite musicals. So even mm -hmm. though I technically don't like musicals as a whole, like there is a way for me to like something like serendipity being one of my top movies of all time. It's a romantic comedy, not my normal genre, but I do have, I am acceptable. Like I, I will sit down and give things a chance. So it's not just me being oh, this is crap because you know, they, they, whatever. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is I do give things a chance, even if it's not in my wheelhouse and this isn't uh, hitting like for instance, I like a Hocus Pocus one, for instance, more than this show so far because it knew what it was to me. And it was just, OK, we're going to be kind of goofy with a Halloween theme in there. And it's just like a little fun, you know, watch for a movie or whatever. So what you're trying to tell me is you don't like dramedies. I mean, I wouldn't say that uh, that or uh, life. To a certain point, like, <laughs> like I said, it's kind of hard to explain because there is things. Uh, that I have like that had some goofiness even with like say a serious subject say like uh, the one. zombie film uh, uh, they go to the Winchester God why am I forgetting the name of it but uh, it, but it's like a comedy but it's still got the like oh, zombie but, stuff um, in it um, Sam Dean no no no, no not, but... Zombie Lands one is a good example that wasn't who I was thinking about but Zombie oh Land the TV show Land's that was good. like. 50 seasons. Oh my God. No, no, not the TV show. That was supposed to be serious the whole time. I'm talking about a movie. It's um, like a comedy. It's got is the, it the guys, one with Nicholas Holt. I think maybe so. It's the they go to a place called the Winchester at the end. It's like a bar. It's the guy he like works at a TV sales place. Oh, oh, then, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, Shaun of the Dead. So like those movies, like they have that like mixture. I just feel like this don't have that same kind of like continuity that, that a movie like those two movies had, even though it was dealing with like dark subject matter and some serious moments. Like this one's just like off putting to me for some reason, because I go through moments of like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then all of a sudden it's like a joke out of nowhere. Whereas in those movies, it felt like it was a comedy the whole time, even though there were serious things, there was still comedy in the serious moments, whereas this, like, especially in this episode, there's a lot of seriousness to it when, when we're with him, why he's becoming who he, you know, is uh, and everything else. And he's kind of realizing it. And then all of a sudden we get to part of the episode and it's like, oh, we're back to slapstick. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm falling off the house and 
stuff like that. So like it is what it is. But like, let's get uh Being a into kid. some of the good old brandy breakdown right there. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it's just the uh talking about the elements though. It's not really talking about the uh, show itself and bringing up all the things, but I did like I said enjoy this episode more than the others. Uh I mean yeah, I'm still in, in the ball game here for the rest of it as we go along. Uh, but let's talk about, we'll start with Greg again. Let's do, uh, Greg, uh, what was your uh, like favorite scene and your least favorite scene of this episode? Ooh, come back to me. I got to think about that one. Wow, Chris. <laughs> um, I hate going first. Yeah, wow. Um <laughs> That's why I push it well, on you Chris, I'm hey Chris, I'm giving like a, a pass on this because he hasn't been involved with the, uh this is like his first one, especially for yeah, this show. Yeah, I I'm gonna say like I okay, least favorite part of this. Um now when you say least favorite part, Chris, it doesn't mean you hate it or you even think it's bad. Yeah, you, yeah. If you yeah. love this episode, it's like something that still can be good, but well, it's just we, your least favorite. So we needed a backstory, yes. <laughs> but I wonder if devoting an almost an entire episode was needed. I don't know if I wanted an entire episode defining what happened to him. Because it kind of leaves me more questions. And that could be good. That could be bad. I I would have looked just like e even maybe a little more exposition. What I do like about it. Um, oh, man. I, I, li I like the continuity that we're bringing in with WandaVision. Mm -hmm. Right. I so do like not the, the Not the like what I was talking about, but you're talking about the fact that they're bringing in some of the aspects of WandaVision into this actual They kept show, it constant right? and consistent, and now we're adding a new layer. How did you survive? Were those constructs strong enough? Like, we're learning more, and I like that. But again, I wonder if a quick flashback would have been enough instead of an entire episode. Because I was really wanting them to get back on the road. That's and what I'm really enjoying in this process. Like, I will add to what you just said is this. Like, for instance, with like, we just, it's crazy how some, and I keep bringing up like other things because we're watching a lot of stuff. But it is crazy that like, we just watched the episode of the Penguin Sunday. And we kind of got the same idea where we went flashback mm -hmm. to Sophia, right? And then we're watching this show and they do a flashback. And then it's just real difficult because in the Penguin, it's freaking hitting it out of the park home run. Now, like I said, this is my favorite episode so far, I think, of Agatha. But, like, I felt like the Penguin did it better, right? Like, what they tried to do in this episode, I feel like one show did it better than the other one. And I know sometimes Don't compare that's kind shows of unfair different. Joke. But that oh, kind yeah. of becomes your problem when the best episode, in your opinion, so far is the one that doesn't involve your main character. That's a problem. No, I, look, I kind of agree with that a little bit. But also, like, uh, maybe it's like recency bias because we record these right after watching them. Like, this is right. immediate reactions. Nobody's been able to sit down, you know, and let it soak in for a day and look things up. So we're going off the cuff here. But maybe it's my favorite episode. Uh, like I said, kind of recent thing because of the fact that like I was just so refreshed by not having the monotonous. We're going to another house on the road. There's a little gimmick thing that's happening in there. And then we got to survive it kind of deal and get out of there. Like, so this did break that apart. So maybe I'm feeling like this is one of my favorite episodes just because I was like in the back of my head. Like, needed a break. Yeah. Not yeah. wanting another episode like we just got the last few. Uh -huh. But uh, who wants to go next, Brandy or Greg? Greg, do you got yours? Uh, yeah, the favorite, I guess, would be the the little reveal of a uh, Quicksilver from X Men. Um, is it Evan Peters, right? Which he Teddy, yeah, he technically not that character. Like yeah. he was kind of a fake character in WandaVision. He's Ralph, but, yeah. Ralph but the actor's back. Yeah. The actor was back. <laughs> yeah, that was a whole funny like uh, bit, you know, from the username. And see, I can deal with his funny in this episode. I can deal with his funny. Like, I kind of agree with you here, Greg. And I can see why you would like it. Because even though it was kind of goofy, it makes sense. Because, like, he's kind of messed up in the head because of what happened during WandaVision and stuff. And, you know, him being, like, taken control of and all this stuff. So it kind of fits that he's goofy 
and quirky and doing the little things that he was doing. Like that actually made sense. Yeah, my least favorite probably. I don't know. I just didn't really care for the parents. Something about them just rubbed me the wrong way. Wow. Yeah. Wow, just threw them damn parents on the bus, bro. And the they didn't do a damn thing. The dog's name is Greg. I was like, eh. I can deal without this. I can deal without this. I'll say one moment that kind of <laughs> caught my attention was like right after the car wreck, the dad goes running after the cops, which makes sense. But then the mom goes running off too. But then you hear, and I even had my subtitles on. So it was like, I can't get to him. And then like, so I'm like, oh, she can't open the door or something like that. And then like not even a few seconds later, she's opening the other side of the door. <laughs> nothing. I was like, no, I don't know. Well, the other side didn't get smashed. She couldn't open her door because that's yeah. The side but she got out on that she, side. She, was she went out the other. Door. She went out the other side. She wasn't. She was the driver. I thought she was. Uh, I thought the dad was driving, but I don't know. she was driving. He was on the other side. The passenger. He went out. She went out the side. The father went out, and she grabbed the door from the other side. Okay. The, the side that. Didn't so get I guess it. maybe she was trying to open up his door and can't do it, and then mm -hmm. she couldn't open her door. Yeah. The other side. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, Brandy. Uh, I I like the whole going back and seeing things and how we, I enjoyed everything. I I liked this. You said you know like they're two different shows, the Penguin and this going back. I enjoyed both for different reasons. Now I don't know a lot about Billy and I don't know about this kid, so like getting to see a little bit of what happened and how he came to be, and it's basically the other kid died. And he jumped into his body. So the other kid didn't make it, which is sad. That's what I didn't like that the other kid made. But then you got Billy into this. And I like that we saw um, the characters that are on the road with them in different areas of he saw them before. So she was the police officer and the other one was reading the palm. And the other girl he seen on uh, YouTube, watching her YouTube stuff. So I liked that they, they, you kind of see that everybody had a connection in some way. I loved the boner guy cracked me up. I did <laughs> like, see, I like the, the seriousness and some funniness. Like I like that, that mesh of it. Like I like that, the stuff that he's saying. And then we got to see the point of view of him when Agatha, you know, when he broke into her house, you saw that point of view. I like that too. Mm -hmm. Uh, least favorite? I don't know. I, I th yeah, I thought the parents were a little weird too, mm -hmm. especially at the the bar mitzvah. And they're kissing them. I was like, they, I was like, that seemed that, that nah, seemed man, that's a little normal, like embarrassing. I know yeah, that's you know, embarrassment, parents. and I was like, yeah, I was embarrassed. I'm not <laughs> liking the just unbridled rage that is being put against these parents. Yeah. The show. Listen, I I don't know. Maybe this is kind of weird. Why was there a palm reader at a bar mitzvah? Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. that yeah. seems a little odd, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, maybe it's something they just added for fun or something. But it, I guess, yeah, but. so it's about Halloween. I guess it's his bomb that's was around this time, Halloween time. So they made it make a Halloween ish type of thing. I don't know. Maybe, and yeah. they added a palm reader, maybe for the adults. I don't know. Somebody to <laughs> something for them to do. Right. I don't know. Well, in, in these kinds of places, I, I've, I've seen this when I was younger. Uh, a lot of times, like, some kids will have their bar mitzvahs around the same time. Mm -hmm. And then the, each of them will have a separate bar mitzvah. But the party, they all mm -hmm. come together for one large thing. So you get a bigger yeah. venue. And that's right. what this looked like to me. But yeah. I was still like, I don't know if there's going to be palm reading at that <laughs> the Jewish party. I, I don't know, man. One minute yeah, that actually doesn't make yeah, you're right. Gila, you right. Know? <laughs> Any other kind of party, I would be like with Brandy to put, on this one. They need but... to put they needed to put her in somehow. Yeah, <laughs> see, this is my point, though. This is what I get to with some of this stuff. It's like kind of like lazy. It's like, well, we're going to do this cool flashback scene. We need to have him interact with her. She's going to be a palm reader. They could have easily had the bar mitzvah and then say, for instance, like had him it's leave that with a couple of friends and they decided to go to a palm reader that just happened to be down the street or something when they were leaving. Like you still could have did the same thing, but Chris is right. It's like you're not gonna have a palm reader <laughs> at this religious event. Like, nah, you're not gonna have that, especially like a serious one. Maybe like you said, it's like during Halloween time, so there won't be. But she wouldn't be like a real palm reader, right? She'd be just like some person just dressed up yeah. or something like that. But like, well, maybe like, that's yeah, what they thought. Really, that's what they thought she was, you know. So they're like, oh, we'll just hire like a. 
a maybe. character. And maybe. but, she, I don't think it, but <laughs> they don't know she's a witch. They don't know her her power <laughs> what she like has. That. You know, they don't, I don't understand think it, like, that. Show or nothing, definitely. But she was the one that put the 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 thing on him though yeah that was that was yeah. a, i didn't expect that yeah, yeah so it was what's her name lilia Lyle, lil lily i don't know <laughs> i forget her name patty lapone patty lapone <laughs> it's the <laughs> queen of theater patty lapone <laughs> i'll just say like i know, I, know that, her like, name. I don't know the i can't i keep forgetting these character names man <laughs> but i know that we're kind of technically supposed to do scenes but somebody kind of broke the rules earlier but it's fine like chris was like yeah. saying something that he liked about the show and like didn't like mine uh i would be like the first like i don't know like 20 25 minutes or so of this episode i was digging it <laughs> i was like oh hell like yeah the man of partying this is nice it, well it's just the well, i enjoyed that whole getting to know billy getting, getting to, to know, know billy character. like him and his situation like i thought uh him and his know, boyfriend. Him, yeah meeting his boyfriend and stuff i thought was like good stuff it didn't feel forced or anything it felt like uh natural all that kind of good stuff i'm like okay cool this is uh uh great and i'm i'm like liking the episode it's intriguing it's more serious and all that stuff and i'm really getting into it and then as soon as we get to where he goes to contact mm-hmm. agatha it's like the show took a totally different route and i'm just like like I said, you can do a couple of things that happens, but then when you try to force things, I think the MCU and I've been complaining about this for a while, so it's not just about this show. Well, it's about the was still in the, she was still in her um thing where she thought she was in the place. Oh, yeah. But she I'm saying the garden, like the garden but, holes she does her gun. <laughs> well, right, that, that makes perfect sense, but like it, like I, even the garden hose thing was kind of funny, right? Because she is trapped in this and thing the, where she thinks she's a detective. That's fine, but that's not what I'm talking about. For uh-huh. instance, would be him getting thrown into like the closet and has to make that closet joke. It's like, wait, what? Is, that that would be in a episode of uh, like a, uh, uh, you know, like a pre, you know a sitcom. And this isn't really a sitcom, right? But like, at that point of that the that point of the story it kind of was because she was still in that town. Well, like i said it's like you know the whole was- him trying to like get in there and get something and then get out becomes like a silly funny thing mm-hmm. like he i liked it, it. I he it is a car- yeah. it. and like i said i ain't gonna like what some people will say yuck on someone's yum right like so i understand why somebody would like this and stuff and i've admitted that throughout this whole thing but i'm also going to be honest Mm-hmm. And say it's not for me. I am not going to go and sit down in the future. Uh, like I said, I'm not. I'm not having a bad time. I'm not having a terrible time with this show. I think it's better than a couple of shows that we watched here recently. So I'm not like trying to hate on it, but it's also at that level of where I'm gonna. This show ends, and we get through watching the last few episodes, and there it would almost be a miracle for me to go back and watch this show. <laughs> Like, for real, without like passing out, Brandy, you'd be looking at me like you turn it on. I just fall asleep. I don't give a shit. It's like I'm, it's just not that. Oh big really? Of a thing. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, that's what's gonna happen because we'll, I ain't. We'll test that in a few weeks. Yeah, walk my ass right on out the like room. I don't care. Like this is what it is. Like, um, he's gonna try to go in my my other room. <laughs> do something. Be looking at my phone the whole time or something. Not even paying attention to it. This is the big room. This is the bigger room. You want to be there. (laughs) But yeah, no, I mean, that's That's, just where it is. This isn't my room, by the way. Like, I've been at a five and a five and a half at this show uh, right here. This episode almost wants me to bring it up to like a definite five and a half, maybe like a five, seven. I don't even, I I don't necessarily want to go all the way up to a six because it did have those like things where it was like, I'm liking it, I'm digging it. And then, at towards the end, it got goofy again. Then at the very end, it got serious. The, the trick about doing goofy and serious is you're doing them both at the same time throughout either the show or the movie. There's not really these points to where there's one without the other. And this show to me is just like kind of weird. I can't put my finger on it, but it's like it's serious. And then it's not. Then it's serious. Then it's not. It goes back and forth. Whereas, like I said, most of those shows, like a dramedy, has the comedy even when the drama parts happen. Like, like it's all intermeshed and mingled and happening at the same time where this show 
picks moments to be like, oh, we're going to be super serious or, oh, now we're going to be a comedy. So, I mean, like I said, so like I said, my first my favorite part is the first part of this episode, really digging it, getting into it. And then I got to get thrown back out of it again once it starts <laughs> and when it switches from being all serious all the time, all the way up to a point, And then it gets goofy. The only goofy part that happened uh, before it got real goofy was like the guy who was kind of out of it because he got trapped in WandaVision's world. Mm -hmm. But he at least made sense like that he would be kind of crazy because of what happened to him. So and, and him being all paranoid and everything. So he I didn't stole his house and his DVD collection. <laughs> right. I'm but sorry, no, Ray. I mean, Blu-ray. He had standards, okay. Uh, yeah. so like, but even though that was kind of like goofy, Same funny, thing. that's like, oh, well, he's kind of insane. He's crazy. I get and understand why he's crazy because of what he went through. So you can get away with that. And then, but like I said, to to Billy, everything made sense. Like it started clicking to him. Right. But I, I really thought I, he was crazy, but he wasn't. I really like that Billy could have very easily gone full goth and witchy and like he really could, but there is a sense to him that I'm really enjoying that they gave us that, you know, this is a guy who, despite the fact that these aren't his parents, because mm -hmm. it's Billy now, it's not Billy Cat the kid before, mm -hmm. he sees that they love him and he does care and you can mm -hmm. see some of that kind of playing into him, but I love the shift of his bedroom. When we mm -hmm. saw him go up to his bedroom, you see a lot of Disney posters. Uh, it's, there's still a hint of darkness. Like, mm -hmm. this kid was destined to change. And even when he does that, his parents still love him. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, what did they say when he came in? Hey, want to watch a, a psychological horror? Yeah. You know? you know, like, no, I love that. Like, they are supportive of him. These are great people. That was a really nice touch uh, just to show, you know, Billy, Billy isn't this hopeless case when yeah. he's looking for Agatha. Yeah. There is kindness I, I, and beauty I, in his heart. I do like the supportiveness of the parents. I just found that part of the yeah embarrassing him. Like I agree with both y'all. <laughs> well, you're not a hold on, you're not a parent though, Brandy. <laughs> like I, I embarrass my girls when I can. Why? Listen, because it's it's part of the joy of being a parent. We can do and that. I, an aunt is like a second parent, so no, I. It's not. <laughs> but my family, it is. I've helped raise all of my nieces and nephews, so. Well, um, I mean, she yeah. definitely can like get the feel of it. But my mm -hmm. thing is, is this: I actually like that touch because I am, uh, culture and media kind of like run in the same kind of things. And then, listen, I understand. There's a lot of people that are in. Uh, Los Angeles and the writers rooms and stuff and they had bad like situations with their parents mm -hmm. we don't have to have every story that you make yeah. have Tra the parents be yeah, yeah just because your life like you didn't have the greatest parents in the world doesn't mean everything you write has to have shitty parents in it so I think that's a good touch just like you know the the cops got beat up you know because of things that were caught on video and stuff like that in our culture and then like it seems like now every time I see a cop, they got to be the biggest douchebags in the world in most cases. And it's like, can we stop writing every cop as sort of like a bad guy? Like, uh, for instance, there's a video game that just came out, like even in the Star Wars world, that you're supposed to be like a, a you know, a thug, kind of like, you know, whatever. And the only people you can steal from is the cops that's in that world. And it's like, bro. Can we stop doing that? I understand that you have an outlook that like there are bad people out there. There's bad cops in the world, but we don't have to make every cop bad. Like we kind of got that in the penguin story. The that one cop could have been like just uh, maybe mistaken or he's just he's walking up to the car because it's not supposed to be parked there, which is really could have what you know could have happened. And the cop could have been like. Uh, okay, and then like he noticed something suspicious, maybe or whatever that bag, and he asked him a question or whatever. But no, we had to have the biggest asshole cop in the world mm -hmm. come over there. And look, like I said, I get it. Maybe you had some bad experiences with certain things. Same thing, like I was saying with the parents in the show. It was cool that they didn't have to be douches. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, cool, we get it, we understand. There's a lot of people that are divorced families and broken families out there in the world. And maybe you had issues with a father or mother or both your parents. We don't have to write that in every story. So that is a refreshing thing is to have actually two good parents, 
two parents not only that are good but are still together mm -hmm. like and supportive and stuff like that so i give that props even if the actors felt weird or whatever part of the story like greg brought up earlier the actual just sentiment of them being good parents hmm. cute i really enjoyed it but let's go down the line here guys we've already been going for like 30 minutes uh, let's go like any last out, you know, uh, inputs that you want to say or whatnot about the show. And then uh, before we pass it on to the next person, uh, give your score of the episode and score of the season so far. No road. You're first, man. Guy, yeah, I just want to throw something to y'all. Yeah, I ahead. like I like that they explained it because not everybody's going to understand what that last episode ending was right like mm -hmm. who who is he like what's going on yeah. like so i'm glad they they explained it for like the people that weren't like hardcore like or yeah. <laughs> casual people yeah Do whether we like it or not yeah. yeah whether we like it or not people don't watch every mcu show no yeah. i don't actually they don't actually they that to be honest I with you they haven't yeah it. they haven't been getting super great viewership so uh some of that may be because people's not liking the shows they're putting out and that's uh, why I like that they explained things a little bit because I didn't I didn't know a lot of it. So that's what made me enjoy this because I yeah, I think they did a perfect thing with that because the WandaVision show, if you watched it, you got a little I didn't more. watch all of WandaVision, so I didn't right. know a but lot that's of my it. point though, as I was gonna make is if you watch that show, you got a little more no, uh, you get a little treat because you watched it. But if you didn't watch it because of this episode, I feel like you can make more sense of what's going on. Yeah, I was just I was gonna ask like, do you do you like in this format like it was after, or did you want it to like st somehow put it together, so in the final reveal you're like, oh okay, this is what all of his journey led up to, and then the conclusion was him being revealed, or did you like it that it was or was it okay for y'all that it was like the next episode like this? My, I am getting and I and this might be a more recent thing as well, but I am getting tired of like I was saying earlier. Try, like we call it a big reveal in the last episode. It wasn't big. Everybody knew what was going to happen. Um, and that's kind of my thing. Like if you're not going to, it's kind of like the acolyte. We watched that show and then it felt kind of weird because we went to flashbacks in it too. But then we like, then nothing really even changed all that much and stuff. We actually seen the same scene almost twice. It was like almost a waste of time. Kind of like Chris saying, like you probably could have did a flashback a little shorter. Maybe we didn't have to have the whole episode even though I thought this was a better episode, like Chris might be right on that a little bit. My thing is this, if you don't have a Kaiser Sose kind of story, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like jaw dropping, quit trying to hide it. Cause it, to me, it kind of hurts the story because like I said, when it happens, it's not big. Uh, if you're completely blind, cause like for instance, last episode, Brandy might've thought what happened was big. Right. Because it's like, oh, he's got powers or something. Right. Like, mm -hmm. uh, but Brandy really didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. So even though it was kind of a reveal, it wasn't this big reveal, even to Brandy that didn't even know she knew less part of the story or less about the characters. I thought, I thought it was more powerful. I thought it was more powerful that he said Billy in this episode that he was right. Billy. Because you got more of the story with mm -hmm. it. Right. Like, so yeah. in, in this own episode, like you got a little bit more with that, but I'm saying as a whole, like the people that are fans of the MCU, it wasn't a big drop for us either because we like because we knew about it, so it really wasn't that big of a drop because you were lost in last episode. And like I said, the people that love the stuff and watch it and pay attention and know about the characters, it really wasn't as big of a. I mean, did anybody go wow? Unless you were faking a reaction, go wow! Oh my gosh, Billy! Wow! <laughs> Nobody did that. Like real people, anyway. Like I said, unless you're like a reactor that does those fake reactions, you wasn't jaw dropping. It wasn't because we already knew what was going to happen. So I wish they yeah. would get away from that. But Greg, yeah, unless you got one other thing to bring up, uh, what's that score on the episode and as a season of a whole? Like, so give us a score for the episode and for the season so far. Give it a seven. It's a nice C plus show overall for me. I have enjoyed it. I, it doesn't really. I can understand the, the, the serious nose tone. Like I said, like before, it's gone from Gothica with Halle Berry to like Harry Potter ish, their hocus pocus. Like the tones have shifted, but I really hasn't really bothered me. Like I've been able to enjoy it still. So, like, it's been a positive, like, C plus show for me. 
No, and I'm perfectly fine with that, man. I watch some crazy shit, bro, that I love <laughs> that I know other people don't get. You know what I'm saying? Like one of my favorite shows out or movies out there was like Black Dynamite. Watch that what Brandy thought was stupid. <laughs> but I think it's one of the funniest movies out there, right? So I get it. Mm-hmm. It's for different tastes for different folks. Uh there's no reason different for me to Yeah, there's no reason though for me. It's not bad it's enough for it. one. It's not bad enough for one mm-hmm. for me to have like this yelling argument or start calling you names because you like the show or like it better than I do. That's just stupidity. But Chris, man, any last like thoughts or something you want to bring up about the episode and then give us your uh, score for the episode and for the season so far? I think it was predictable um, in that we knew it was going to happen at some point. If you yes. know anything about Marvel, it was going to happen. I think it was a little too soon and I didn't need a full backstory episode. Was it a bad backstory episode? No, no, it wasn't. We got to dig a little more into what this kid's going through, and I get it. Uh, if I had to rate this A to F, uh, for me, eh, it's it's a B minus. It's definitely not bad. It's better than a lot of other things we've seen in uh, Marvel TV, uh, like all of um, Winter Sol- uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I didn't even finish it. <laughs> yeah, I hated it. I didn't finish that. I didn't finish the Hawkeye show. Um, I didn't even watch Echo. Um, so like there's been some things they put out that I'm it keeps not as- haunting me, man. I accidentally <laughs> bought Falcon and Winter Soldier on Blu-ray, and I was like, why do I buy this? I didn't want this. <laughs> yeah, but it's like in some of the movies, man, it's been a miss. I De- Deadpool um, Wolverine, but like you can't even count that because it's such a more of a different kind of movie that I don't even really count it as like one of the serious MCU but, movies, but it's like, that's the best thing they put out in a while. I'd say before that, it would be all the way back to one of the Spider-Mans being yeah. super good. Yeah. Um, but so far counting this with three to go, I'm intrigued to see where they're going because they killed off or killed off. I say with air quotes, yeah, they've killed exactly. off so many of our characters <laughs> already. And I'm curious to see where they go. Sharon's at. the only one because she wasn't a witch that I think might be really dead. Just because she didn't start off as a witch, but I don't think any of these witches are dead. We'll find out though. I don't know, but uh, uh, for me, uh, this series so far, uh, this is definitely in in the top five for me. Um, top five, I'm not sure exactly. It's not the best, but it's top five. I'm. It's keeping me intrigued, and I want to. Now, go back. when you say top five, you're you're putting it up against just MCU stuff. Yeah, MCU TV. Uh, TV in general, I'm enjoying it. I'm coming back. And you know what? This is a great Halloween time story. This yeah. is great for that. And I really, really, really have loved the different renditions. If you listen, in, in almost every episode, there's a slightly different rendition of, of the Witch's Road song. I've mm-hmm. really enjoyed, enjoyed that a lot. Two, in particular, were really good. Um but yeah, this is this has been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. My daughter is really into it. Uh, in fact, I was homesick. I have COVID, so I was I homesick. Wish, yeah, I was homesick today, and I went, "Oh, it's Wednesday! I get to watch Agatha." And it was like two. You know like, it's not on yet. You know what I wish they would have done, man? I wish that they would have came up with some reason for the song to be different, and maybe it wasn't that. Uh, Justin, uh, it's Justin's favorite song. Well, the last witch that uh, passed away. <laughs> Uh, the Asian witch, uh, yeah. you know, her mom, I wish her mom wasn't the one that actually sung the song, maybe came up with it, maybe wrote it, but I wish they would have had some reason to put Stevie Nicks in here and her actually sing a rendition of the witch's road, baby. Well, we still have three more episodes. Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, goes. man. Fleetwood we have three Mac. more episodes uh, to see where this goes with, with this song, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Actually, two weeks. We had only two weeks to go. Right. Brandy. That's- you got anything like uh, to add to uh, about the show before you give us a score? <laughs> before I already did my brandy breakdown of everything, <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I I did enjoy this episode very much more than I did last episode. I've been enjoying the series as a whole. Um, it's it's one of my ones that I want to watch. I knew Justin was working tonight, but I'm I've been the one to message him be like Agatha's tonight <laughs> so it's because of me because he re- he doesn't remember so I remember it I'm like Agatha we're doing- I did kind of remember but I had to actually close on this Wednesday which yeah, I, I know you had did to have be to doing close. so yeah. like uh that's one of the reasons but that's but I, uh, my message was are you home and he's like yes I said Agatha <laughs> so what's that uh score I, you know what I kind of 
to to be like the numbers is kind of like man, kind of getting mundane. So I actually kind of mm-hmm. like the fact Greg and both uh, Chris used letter scores. Like if you're getting the test, mm-hmm. you can say whatever your score wants to be, however you want to say it, Brandy. Well, I'm giving it a, a seven half eight. That's what this ranked for me. It was pretty mad decent. pretty high. C C plus. Yeah, and that's what I expect from this. I expect certain this members of the crowd. Was, yeah, yeah. I expect good. I expect certain members of the crowd out there. To mm-hmm. thoroughly enjoy this, mm-hmm. and, and I can see where some people might think it's the, the best thing they've seen all year. Listen, I still give it room. I still give it room to improve. I still give it that room. Mm-hmm. Right. So but it's like a, about it. Yeah, about it. I can see the crowd giving it anywhere from a seven to nine. I understand mm-hmm. why some people watching this will give it that kind of score and everything else, and I'm not going to hate on them for it. Uh, but this isn't this. It, it just isn't for me, and. Um, so my score is going to be a, a lot lower than a lot of other people. This wasn't made uh, for Hollywood. But somehow handball. I'm going to be the one to get called out for something. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's because they automatically know, for instance, with me on that episode that you're talking about, it's like <laughs> I, I, I'm already saying I don't like it. So there's no reason for that. It was kind of like they picked the person that was kind of been enjoying it. And then female all of a in the group score. that gave it the same high score as Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but, but nah, man, this is like, uh, you know, like I said, around the five and a half range. I mean, this was my favorite episode, but there were still issues with it. Uh, Which was good because last and, episode was, he gave it a four, by the way, a four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that was, I almost gave it worse than that, to be honest with you. I mean, if I was doing letter grades, this is like a C, like it's barely passing, like it's about to be a D or, you know, whatever, like according on how they do the ending and everything. It's just like to me, the your great surprises is already known, like we already know what's happening kind of thing. So it's not even that big of a deal uh, when it comes to that. Uh, I just really can't get with too much any of the characters the green- I, mean, I like agatha as a character all the long or uh yeah that's kind of funny because that's the name of the show but i kind of like agatha, agatha and i think along. agatha could be a cool thing if we were doing more stuff with the salem seven and we mm-hmm. were being more dark and gritty and everything else uh she can even be they her sassy stealth in the show but I like would i would have liked it better but this and is then just, aubrey plaza uh adelia thinks is lady death so yeah. That too. I mean, I think that's actually came out afterwards, but now whenever we were talking about it on the episode, I didn't even know something like that came out. We had somebody comment about that, but that wasn't because we knew it and saw a leak. That was just us discussing the show. Yeah. Uh, and 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 us accidentally, you know, kind of like because Adelia knows more of the stuff than (laughs) I do, so she had a feel. She does we don't know. Like we're gonna say these are just our our thoughts. We didn't know. (laughs) We like we said we didn't know if it, this kid was going to be Billy or Agatha's son, and because then it became pretty obvious. Then but. it came obvious that it was Billy, but like, but there was a t- point where we were like, "Who is this kid? Is he this kid or is he this kid?" So, but yeah, this show, man, it's just like, uh, like I said, I kind of hate being the Debbie Downer sometimes, but uh, this show for me where? just needed to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it should have picked. <laughs> Should have picked what it wanted to be. That's a it solid B for me. This whole it, show is a series. Yeah, it mm-hmm. should have been a, a comedy, or it should have been like a serious thing, or they should have like been able to do the like dramatic stuff with the comedy mixed in, and not have these like segments. It's almost like I don't know. It's some of the well, stuff I'm glad that they didn't do because I was I was like it would get boring if it was the same thing walking down the road then another task walking down the road mm-hmm. then another task I'm glad that that we had some of this other stuff in it that we didn't have like we had Billy Billy's st- story that it wasn't just oh walking down the road and another task like I we're mean, down three right we yeah, finished yeah. three tasks there's two yeah. to go yes I think so maybe yeah, yeah. but mm-hmm. like. It's just like, uh, like I said, like it gets to a level like there's it just this doesn't fit for me. It's like puzzle pieces. It just doesn't go together because we had the episode where they're singing. Maybe, the Witch's at, the Road end, song. maybe at the end, the whole puzzle comes together and makes sense. We'll see. I mean, I, I don't know. Like as far as me, it might have some cool thing at the end that I'm like, oh, cool. But I, like I said, the rest of the show, it's just like because to me, it gets it's like super serious, like in this episode. And then we had an episode where they sung a song to kill this demon-looking creature. 
Like, and it was didn't even work the next episode because they ended up killing her to begin with. And sorry, I'm still, yeah, yeah. I'm but still it's bitter like, about Alice. I'm still it's bitter. super. I'm still it's, bitter. <laughs> it's like these two way too much of like, like one thing way over here and one thing way over here, and it's like I don't know. Like I said, I think a lot of people's gonna feel like I feel. We'll right? see what happens on down the road. But that's what, yeah, but that's the thing that I think about the show is I think a lot of people feels like what I feel. They don't know what this is trying to be, but then there's a lot of people like you and even Greg and Adelia and even Chris is somewhat that's like they enjoy it. Uh, so I just think there's going to be those big group of people. I think it's going to be like it's, it's going to be everybody. There's going to be it's going to be somebody's cup of tea and it's not going to be somebody's cup of tea. And that's fine because we're all different individual people that think our own thoughts. So Yeah, no, it's, and, not, it's not really OK. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I just do think there is a divide. And when I think or talk or see uh, people talking about, say, the show Penguin that we're doing, which we'll have the next episode up on Sunday night or Monday, because we'll be finishing up on that series as well in the next few weeks. But uh, it's like, man, people love that show. And on this show, I think it's like 50-50. It's a coin flip. Do people mm -hmm. like it or people don't like it? That kind of thing. I mean, like I said, it doesn't make it bad for everybody. So that being said, you know, I guess a no road over there. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, Chris. This is his first time. He he was able to join because he had COVID. So, you know, I guess a positive thing. Hope you feel better. <laughs> yep. And uh, thanks, Brandy, as always. <laughs> Until next time. You know what, Greg? I'm going to let you say bye bye in your special way. Bye bye. <laughs>